Breaking, NFL loses second major sponsor over kneelers. Dumb. 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 Another one bites the dust. And another sponsor drops and another sponsor drops. Another one bites the dust. Dumb, bada bum bum bum, the NFL is about to bust. You gotta love freedom. The freedom to kneel, the freedom to protest. The freedom to turn off your television. The freedom to not watch ineffective forms of protest. The freedom to not sponsor sporting events that are losing popularity. America. That's right. A second major sponsor has pulled their advertising from the NFL games. This should not surprise you. Really. We've been talking about this for some time now. It's a big fat duh. According to Observer. Steve Colfer, the owner of the Flemington auto dealership Colossus, has pulled all advertising from NFL games, Observer has learned. The founding chairman of the 17 franchises that make up Flemington car and truck family dealerships, Colfer told Observer. Customers and employees have asked me why are we supporting this disrespectful behavior? Our response is, we cannot. In a statement that will be released later today, Colfer says, the National Football League and its owners have shown their fans and marketing partners that they do not have a comprehensive policy to ensure that players stand and show respect for America and our flag during the playing of the national anthem. As the NFL parses the important nationwide issues of social justice and freedom of speech, it is clear that a firm direction by them is not forthcoming. Therefore, we have cancelled all of our NFL advertising on the Optimum and Infinity networks. Hundreds of thousands of dollars lost. Each and every Sunday. Why? Because the National Football League let protesters and pigskins come before country because they couldn't get their tantrum throwing titlers to stand up and respect the American flag. Let the players do whatever protest they darn well please off the field. But why let them interrupt your business? Why let them put the league and its financial success in jeopardy? You want to be politically correct? Fine. When you are in the unemployment line, make sure you refer to the transitioning government employee as a s, him or a s she he. Or, Whatever transgender, multi body part, I don't know what I am today, people call themselves. First and foremost, NFL, you're running a business. And, if you don't run it well, you won't have to worry about who is protesting or kneeling, if fans are coming or not. Because you'll be broke. Out of business. At what point do you stop letting the inmates run the asylum? Play football. That game with the pigskin, first downs tackles, and touchdowns. The National Football League should be called for offsides or out of bounds. They've reached their ability to juggle both pigskin and protest. What sponsor will be next? Good and respectful Americans will not put up with this for much longer. Especially with all the real tragedy in the world, in light of events from this weekend in Las Vegas, I think we can stand, unite and move forward. There are far more important things going on in our country than this, and we should be working to fix those pressing issues. Don't you think so? Think so?